I'm Chung Wen with Notebooks.com and today we're at the LG booth. We're going to take a look at the LG G Slate for T-Mobile USA. Can you tell us a little bit more about the tablet here? Sure, Chung. What we have here is we have the T-Mobile G Slate with Google by LG. Brand new tablet that we announced at CES but we're able to show here at CTIA. Nice, new, very slim, very sleek tablet. Weighs in at just 650 grams. Very lightweight. 8.9 inch capacitive touchscreen. Gives you a 15 by nine viewing angle. One of the awesome things that I can show and share about this is that it does have dual stereoscopic five megapixel cameras with a flash for 3D recording, viewing, and sharing. Let's take a look and see if anything's in here right now. So it's sort of like the bigger brother to the LG Optimus 3D. Yeah, kind of, but let me, let me share with you the differences. So in this respect, whereas the, the Optimus 3D recorded in stereo or in uh, parallax barrier technology, this is actually recording several different ways. So it'll record in old school anaglyph red and what red and blue red glasses, and blue glasses which the benefit to that is is that it, when you record it in anaglyph or download content to your to your G slate in anaglyph and store it you can turn any regular TV into an anaglyph 3D TV So if you were to wear the glasses right now while watching this video, you're going to see it in 3D. Now, and, and again, that's the anaglyph way. I can record it in the side-by-side -side technique, which then show, records left and right, or side-by-side, -side, records it in an overlap fashion. And then when I wear the passive glasses like these, I would still be able to get 3D. And then the other way, with the single method, where it uses a single camera, I'm actually seeing normal video on the main screen and then when I play it back I will see it in 3D with the with the pair of passive glasses. The great thing about this is that I can add in anything that I want. You want you want a book reader or your calendar? I can just drag it right to part of the main screen and add shortcuts to that. So right here, boom, there was my email. There's the voice recorder. So this is Android 3.0 Honeycomb. This is, this is a 4G Honeycomb device. It's our first and T-Mobile's first 4G Honeycomb tablet that'll be hitting the market. Now what I can say is that while I don't have availability, pricing got announced last night, and it's only gonna be $529 after rebate on a two-year contract with T-Mobile. Wow. So it's an 8.9 inch touchscreen. There's a front-facing camera, dual, uh, rear-facing camera for Correct. 3D recording. Uh-huh, absolutely. And when you're watching video on this device, you're going to see it in 720. But if I send it to the TV via HDMI, I'm actually going to get regular 2D video in uh, 1080 high depth. Wow. Can you record using the same technology as the Optimus 3D, the smartphone, or? No, unfortunately it's not the parallax barrier technology um, because that, that technology has not been optimized for larger screens such as this. It's been optimized for smaller screens. This device, however, is using the NVIDIA Tegra 2 dual core processor chipset. Uh, and it does have uh, Google Maps. And it, the other great thing about this is that it will have 32 gigs of built-in internal memory. Wow, that's pretty nice. Is there gonna be uh, expandable memory? Is there a micro SD slot? On this particular unit, no. Um, perhaps on our second generation, but we'll know more as that time comes. So you're still gonna be focusing on tablets for some time, I guess, then. If you're... I sure hope so. Okay, great, thank you. You're welcome.